today in this video um we are going to be taking a look at a sonic that um i wanted from um Roberto for a while now um but didn't seem to I wasn't very lucky I didn't manage to get in to the run. Um, and then a mate of mine, we've recently done a trade. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, I've now managed to end up with this beautiful prop. Um, the fourth Dr. Sonic Screwdriver. So, yeah. Um, there it is for you to look at. First of all, we're going to be taking a look at... Well, this. So, as you can see, it is the, uh, that won't zoom out anymore, but you can see there, if I hold the camera up a bit, it's the Certificate of Authenticity in a nice see-through frame. So, you can see all angles of it, but it does stick out a little bit, but that's fine. So you've got the original Doctor Who logo for that kind of era. Then you've got a picture of the Sonic with the red halo facing, the, the bullet facing to the uh, left. Nice picture. And then you've got a, a picture of the Sonic going sort of forward, I suppose, the bullet going forward. So, yeah. Uh, and then it says, Fourth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver by Roberto Replica, Certificate of Authenticity number 254 of 500 signed by nick however it's important to note that i think he's only doing 260 i think he made 260 and he said he's going to call it quits um so actually this is the the six there's only six left after this one and then that's it and if you notice in the background um not many people say it in their videos i've watched a few fourth doctor videos um, but obviously the back, the water, the watermark is actually Tom Baker's scarf, which is another replica that I received the other day, which I might probably, I probably will do a video on, but it'll be a bit of a weird kind of video, I suppose. But yeah, so that's pretty cool in the background there. And also if we then stand it up like that, uh, as you can see, this particular frame does, of course, um... Is see through so we've got the, the if I just I'll take it off the thing actually and show you oh oops so there you go the original dot two logo with an orange O for some reason and then Tom Baker there himself so yeah so that's certificate basically it's uh it's my favourite certificate out of um, out of all of them. Basically, hold on a second. Just need to. Uh... Sorry about that, guys. Um, just had to do something there. So yeah, so that's the certificate. Um, we'll take a look at the stand, uh, the box before we take a look at the actual uh, replica itself. So here is the box. It has a nice Doctor Who logo on there. Loving the classic Doctor Who logo all over it, uh, all over the place. It's refreshing. Um, and then when we open the box, obviously we've got the congratulations on your purchase. Uh, um, letter so you can pause that I think every, most people have read them pretty much the same just obviously the letters are specifically about the sonic that you have so it does say there don't use cleaners or solvents on the paint uh, in doing so may damage the paintwork so yeah that's true don't do that if you're going to polish it or whatever don't Polish the halo unless you've got a weathered one because it will destroy the paint there. But Nick is very um, amenable, so if you do have any problems with it, you can send it back to 
to him and he'll take a look at it. Um, everything is out of the box, but that's what it looks like anyway. There, there's all the slots. Um, for the purpose of this, I, I just, you know, I'll show it to you. There's no need to keep everything in the box. So there's the box. We don't need that anymore. Um, however, I will actually keep this platform here just to rest the Sonic on. So, okay, so the Sonic itself. Put this into the frame. So here is the fourth Doctor Sonic screwdriver weathered as well. So as you can see, the halo there is pretty awesome, to be fair. You can see that nice natural gold brass colour. Then you've got the, uh, the magnet with the red screw, which is accurate. And the magnet does work. I've got a screw here. You can see that in the frame. I'll put it a bit backwards. And of course, voila. So it does actually, but it's very, it's a very uh, strong spring so, uh, magnet. So you've got to be careful. Um, so yeah. Uh, just like the original prop, the halo is bent slightly. That's intentional, not, you know, it's not broken or it's not accidental. It, it was uh, bent slightly in the in the show. Of course, I want to mimic it as it is in the show, not as you'd normally like a replica to be. So, now pulling this out, the head does extend. Uh, like it did in, I believe it was Hands of Fear and Genesis of the Daleks. I definitely remember it in Genesis. Not entirely sure about Hands of Fear, but I think it was in that one as well. So that's awesome. Cool feature. Um, this one as well has four lines, which I believe is accurate on the neck. The neck has been weathered subtly in places. Going down, we've got the collar section. Then we've got the... That bit there which nobody really knows what it is and then we've got the activation ring here which of course has been taped to mimic the weathering of the of the activation ring the corrosion which is the white tape and then the metal is well the silver tape is to mimic the the metal but i think they did actually use tape on the activation rings um underneath the metal which is why it the tape corroded kind of thing then we've got the three indents, the three grooves, three lines. And then we've got the body here, the handle or whatever you want to call it, with the slit, with the uh, the mesh for the sound. Although I may take the batteries out and just have it so that the sound module's in there so that I can still have the mesh bit but not the sound, because I'm not really bothered about the sound, to be honest. Um, and it's not the best sound chip either. And there's the infamous shear that we have on the uh, RBs as well. We're all familiar with them on my channel. Uh, I always mention them. Nobody really do pays attention, but I do. Uh, the grub screw there, which I don't think is uh, active. I think that's just for aesthetics, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then on the uh, the bottom here, it's rounded. So like unlike the RBs, you can't stand it up. So, yeah, this one, my first classic Sonic, does actually make a sound. But like I mentioned earlier, it's the, uh, it's the horrible sound chip. So, yeah, I, I probably won't be um, having the sound, but there we go. So that's basically uh, that for the Sonic. Um, it's quite nice. This is the stand that comes in two parts. I've took it off. I've took it apart for you for the purpose of the video. So here we go. We've got the fourth uh, Doctor Sonic screwdriver by RB Replicas, signed by Nick, numbered by him as well, although they should have really put 260 there. And a nice engraving of, the, of my favourite Doctor Who logo. Uh, from the classic era. I absolutely love it. So, And I've noticed that this is also the TARDIS console. This is the classic era style TARDIS console. And then the bit 
the acrylic tube here, which puts the sonic in, is the time rotor, uh, which is awesome because it looks like you've got a. If I take it off the, uh, it looks literally like you have. A Sonic in the TARDIS. So it's actually quite cool. That's a spinning TARDIS in the background. Um, so the parts that you can polish on this, of course, is the handle and this bit. The activation ring doesn't need, well, you can't polish it, it's a sticker, it's not metal. Uh, it is metal underneath, but you know what I mean. And then th these bits you can polish, yes. Um, but don't polish the neck. Don't polish the halo. Don't polish the magnet. You can polish the bullet if you want, but... Um, you know. So, that is a very good, cool feature to have that extend. So yeah, there you go, awesome. And there we are. So that uh, does it for this video. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, this is the chosen replica until I get some resin jelly babies anyway, to display with my Sonic. If you haven't guessed it already, it is the fourth, third and fourth Doctor's TARDIS key. However, since I have a good amount of, of these shuffle keys now, I can display one with the third, uh, one with the fourth, one with the eighth, and then the other ones are spare. So, yeah, happy days. Constellation of Casterbrus there, and that just sort of sits on the stand like, like so, basically. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So that about does it for this video. Um, my CT has come back from being modified. Um, so I'll be doing a video showcasing that very soon. I need to get some new batteries though, because the batteries aren't working at the moment. Uh, it's, it's literally on its last life, that battery. So uh, yeah, it flickers on and off. So I'm not gonna do a video until it's perfect. Um, I do have a 10th Doctor Sonic as well by R uh, RB, by Rubberto that I've acquired recently as well. It's not the one I've pre-ordered, obviously, but it is, you know, um, it, much like um, my uh, CT before it went off, is broken at the moment. Uh <laughs> But I will give you a little preview. First you get a preview of that loud, loud ass sound. And then you get a little sneaky shot here of the Sonic as well. And a shot of my annoying nails chipping the paint. That was my fault. But uh, there you go. And there's the channel. And the bro to prove it's broken, it doesn't light up. So, yeah, it's going back to Nick to be to have the light done, and then hopefully he can repaint it as well. Just give it a little lick of paint there. So that's the preview of what's to come. Um, it's number 25, if you're wondering which edition that 10th uh, is. Um... And I won't give you a preview of the 11th because that's too many previews. So, yeah, stay tuned for my next video um, that will hopefully be the CT 11th. And then in a couple of weeks, hopefully when the 10th is fixed, a few surprises on the way for that, by the way, uh, that'll be the next one. Hopefully my Sonic Compendium Aztec, the Cream Aztec, will come as well. Hopefully. Uh, we can only pray. Um, <laughs> I've got a 
two more RB Sonics, RB Replica Sonics come in as well. Um, so one of them is a fourth that's going to be literally the fourth Doctor Sonic at its last life before it becomes the fifth, before they change the design. So it's literally the halo is going to be bent as a lot more than the rubber toe one. Uh, there's hardly going to be red paint on the halo, stuff like that. You know, it's going to be really badly damaged basically um so that one's that i've got another third coming so you know expect a few good decent reviews the 13th dr sonic uh is supposed to be he's supposed to be doing a, a small run of them and i'm in the first batch definitely because he got up to number 87 or 86 or 88 one of those three and i'm number 90 so um basically yeah we'll see we'll see what happens um we'll see what happens but yeah so still got a lot of videos to do i might do a video of the scarf um possibly um but yeah that's it for now so like always in my videos okay look at the i will give it a spin that was a Mm, no, there was a decent spin. I could disagree with that. See, the Sonic is trying to connect to the TARDIS to stop it, but... Uh... There we go. One of the sounds worked, at least. Uh, anyway, sorry, just messing around. Right, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Okay, take care and have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.